Hi everyone, Jared here as always, and uh, a couple of people wrote in asking my thoughts on Shenmue 1, 2 HD or uh, Shenmue 3, and so I thought it would be kind of cool just to uh, talk about where I stand in this whole thing. Um, for those that don't know, Shenmue was uh, was one of the early, like first, uh, open world games that led the way to uh, Grand Theft Auto 3 and then, then that explosion of open world games. Uh, you played as a character named Ryu, and um, it wasn't open world in the sense of Grand Theft Auto. Like, yeah, you, you had this massive world that you could, you could like go around and do a whole bunch of stuff. I mean, it was as detailed that in the bedroom, uh, you could like open up drawers and, and things like that. Like it, it was nuts. You could even get a job and like talk to like pretty much everyone that you saw. That's where it was different than Grand Theft Auto. You didn't go around like getting little missions and killing people and things like that. Well, that wasn't the focus. The focus was basically to tell this really rich, powerful story. And then you being this character, just interacting with his day-to-day -day, um, life, if you will. Um, that that's Shenmue in a nutshell, if you will. I know the the hardcore fans will be like, "What are you saying?" And they'll go hardcore into like uh, all the different information. But by all means, go ahead. Uh, that's fine. But what I think about this right now, well, I think that Shenmue never really had the opportunity to shine. Um, the thing is, will it work today? That's the the big question that I've always uh, been thinking to myself, like over the last like couple of years. Because when it first came out, I mean, people, the, the, like the hardcore gamers, they have this special place, especially Dreamcast fans, they have a very special place for Shenmue, the series. There was just two that were made. Um, but the thing is, that was years ago. I mean, the original one came out in, what, 2000, 2001, something like that? That, that was a long time ago. The second one was released here in North America exclusively on the Xbox. There was a whole whole political reasons why with Peter Moore when he transitioned from Sega to Microsoft he uh, basically brought along some exclusives and stuff like that but that that's going that's beyond the like that's beyond the point um, but yeah so what, what do I think I don't know I really don't know this is one of those things where I'm not sure as a fan of Shenmue of course I would love to have an HD remake of the uh, first two games and then leading up to a potential third one but realistically, in this day and age, this Call of Duty, uh, you know, like, era we're sort of living in right now, I'm not sure how Shenmue would actually um, perform. But that said, depending on how the game comes back, because let's be honest, Sega's never going to fund this. Sega, the old Sega is dead. It doesn't matter how big of a fan you are. I mean, I love their hardware. I love tons of their arcade games. But that company doesn't exist anymore. If you're one of these people who are like, Dreamcast 2 is coming up, that is not going to happen, ever. Unless uh, unless something dramatically did, like changes at Sega, it's just never going to happen. I mean, Sega as an entity doesn't even exist. It's Sega Sammy or Sammy Sega or whatever. They they're belong to a holding company now. So it's, I mean, they're just, they're not the same company at all anymore. So if they were ever to make a Shenmue, um, Adam Korlick, he did a, a fantastic wrap-up of all of this, basically, where he's, he basically said that if it's going to come out, it's only going to come out on the PlayStation 4 because there's no way the, the Xbox One will fail in Japan unless a miracle happens. And um, so since it is such a primarily Japanese-focused game, or series rather, uh, that it just didn't make any sense that it would obviously go towards Sony's uh, PlayStation 4. And I fully agree with everything he said. Um, I'll put a link to his uh, video below because everything he said is, is exactly how I feel in terms of the logic behind why Shenmue only makes sense on the PlayStation 4. And his reasonings behind it, I fully agree with them. I also agree with the fact that if Shenmue is going to come back, it will take a company like Sony to actually publish the game. There's no way in hell Sega's ever going to release this uh, series game, whatever, 
hear it, especially like worldwide there, they're never going to release it on their own. That's just never going to happen. They don't have the capital to do that anymore. They can't take the chance that it bombs. Now, Sony does, which is weird because Sony as an entire corporation is suffering, but their games division is doing phenomenal. So what I see with this is I wouldn't be surprised if eventually one day, perhaps, uh, we get a Shenmue 1 and 2 HD remake. Uh, if for nothing else, just to basically have some good PR um, and just get some hardcore fans to rally behind uh, Sony. Sony's been doing a really good job lately of just doing that. It's, it's funny because the PlayStation 4, like I said in my impressions, is like the ultimate game machine without any games. There's only a couple, like a handful of exclusive titles right now, and they're nothing spectacular, at least in my opinion, right now. And this would be one of those ways of just keeping the ball rolling, right? Like keeping people, look, look at what Sony did. They brought back Shenmue, oh my god, and, you know, blah, blah, blah. But do I see it as this huge international seller? I don't know. I really don't know. Taste gamers uh, themselves, everything has changed so much that... You'd have to modernize Shenmue, I think, in a lot of ways in order to um, to cater to this new audience. And this might be super controversial. You might be a, a hardcore uh, Shenmue fan and be like, Jared, what are you saying? But I'd actually, I, I, I'd like to hear a lot of your thoughts on this because for me, I, I, I really enjoy the game, but I don't know if everyone would still enjoy this today. I don't know. You know, there's some games that have aged better than others. I haven't returned to Shenmue in a long time. I might still love it, but I'm really wondering about how the modern day gamer would react to Shenmue being released in like an HD remix um, today. And as for Shenmue 3, well, obviously that would all depend on the success of Shenmue 1 and 2 HD. If those games did well, then of course it could lead into a uh, Shenmue 3. But I think right now, realistically, I don't know. I don't know. I think I'd be shocked if it just got announced. I mean, right now there are some indications that perhaps at the Game Developers Conference, we might get some information because uh, Yu Suzuki is going to be there and he's teaming up with uh, Mark Cerny, I think his name is, the guy that brought us Knack and who's uh, basically been with uh, PlayStation since the really early days. He was responsible for even helping on uh, Crash Bandicoot way back when. Um, and he's, I think he was the lead PlayStation th uh, 4 architect. So, anyways... Um, so there's, there's rumors there that, you know, that something might happen and I, I can see an HD remake happening that I can see. I really can. It's just, like I said, the, the ultimate question is what does the modern gamer today, the ones that didn't grow up playing, uh, early 3D games, what do you think they would think of Shenmue? And that's why I'm going to leave it to you guys for all you Shenmue fans out there or Dreamcast fans or whomever. Uh, what do you think of a Shenmue 1 and 2 HD remake uh, being released on the PlayStation 4, uh, say, like, in the next two years? How do you think the general gaming audience of today, of this generation, how do you think they would react to that? Do you think there would still be that, that like, awe, oh, that mystery that Shenmue originally gave players? Or do you think uh, they would just be like, oh, you know, I want more action, I want more this, I want more that? So, yeah, leave a reply. I'd love to hear what you have to say on this subject because it's an interesting one. And uh, to those that asked me my thoughts on Shenmue in general and, and what I thought of all this, I hope I sort of answered your uh, question. And if not, well, leave a comment and we'll have a little dialogue back and forth. So as always, guys, thank you very much for watching and I'll be back soon with another video. Take care, everyone. Do, do, do.